Whatever happened at St. Mary's side today? Sports scores, scholars mode, FCCLA. Every time you watch, there's some news for you to hold on to. Every time you watch, there's a face of somebody who knows you. Every time you watch, when you're in third out, feel all alone. Best broadcast is waiting to carry you home. Every time you watch, every time you watch, Hello, Sam Ray's High School. I'm Nick Gray. And I'm Kaden Hurla, here with the 86 announcements of the school year. The Booster Club needs help with concessions for the upcoming weeks. If anyone would be willing to help with either a food donation or working, please contact Kim Harrison. The yearbook staff is hosting a bake sale. Beginning this week, you can buy baked goods on Tuesdays and Fridays, right after school in the Commons. Every item will be a dollar. FBLA districts are next Monday. FBLA members who signed up will meet here at 715. There will be no school this, uh, this upcoming Monday for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Now with sports. High school basketball teams play today at Rossville, so come out and support the Bears. There's a wrestling meet today and tomorrow, right here in St. Mary's. The junior high boys will play Monday versus Rossville, so come out and support. Now let's take a, now let's take a look at this week in history. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever we're being played, I'm your host, Trevor Yoakum. And I'm Evan Sipes. And this is This Week in History. January 8th, 1815, two weeks after the War of 1812 officially ended with the sign of the Treaty of Ghent, U.S. General Andrew Jackson achieves the greatest American victory of the war at the Battle of New Orleans. January 9th, 1493. I don't really not know why this is an important week in, important day in history. Italian explorer Christopher Columbus, sailing near the Dominican Republic, sees three mermaids. In reality, they are actually manatees and describes them as not half as beautiful as they are painted. January 10th, 1861, William Seward accepts presidential elect Abraham Lincoln's invitation to become Secretary of State. January 11th, 1908, U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt declares the massive Grand Canyon in northwestern Arizona a national monument. January 12, 1904, Henry Ford sets a land speed record of, of 91.37 miles per hour on the frozen surface of Michigan Lake St. Clair, only for it to be beaten a month later. Well, that really sucks for him. Yeah, yeah. that would not. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it for this week in history. Remember, yesterday's history, tomorrow's a mystery. Have a good one. Happy birthday to Emily Stewart today and Keller Hurley yesterday. There have been some menu changes. Main lunch today is French toast steaks and the alternate is corn dog. And Tuesday's lunch is crispito and chicken nuggets, but Wednesday's lunch will be back on schedule. That's all we have for you today. Until next time, I'm Nick Gray. And I'm Caden Hurley. And you, you stay, stay classy, classy St. Mary's. Mary's.